Boom. What's up, you guys? It's Roy's Jacob, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk to you about why I believe Palantir's earnings report just reignited the fire underneath the AI sector of the stock market. Palantir is viewed by many to be the leader in the growth AI space. So, What's good news for Palantir is good news for the sector as a whole. Their earnings report today sent the stock popping at 20% and uh, in the wake of that successful earnings report. And uh, again, the optimism around the AI sector sent C3 AI Inc. up 14%. And I want to talk to you guys about why this move today has made me so much more technically bullish on the stock on top of already being fundamentally bullish on it going into earnings on December 7th. Okay, so we're going to keep this video simple, you guys. Simply going to take a look at AI and actually Palantir afterwards on TradingView. Talk technicals, talk a few levels I'm personally eyeballing uh, in terms of profit-taking targets. And, uh, you know, just for fun, talk about how high these things could climb if the bulls really, <laughs> really start to take the reins in the month of November. Uh, I said in yesterday's newsletter that uh, November is historically the best month for the markets, the S&P 500 specifically. And uh, so far we are off to, we could, almost couldn't be off to a stronger start. Today was the best day for the markets, November 2nd since the month of May. And uh, you know, so far so good. So let's hope this keeps up. That's the video you guys. Uh, before we start talking specifics, if you want to know, how I'm trading C3 AI Inc. on a daily basis, along with all of the other positions in my portfolio. Right now, there's around 18 to 20 active options positions. If you wanna know exactly which contracts I'm holding, the contracts that today were up over 400% at one point, I think they closed the day out up uh, just over 370%. Um, then you have to check out my complete portfolio and daily newsletter. It's the first link in the description below. And uh, I'll let you choose any of the pricing plans you'd like here. Okay, completely up to you if you choose to join. But the days like today, and again, C3 AI Inc. was 380%. That's definitely the largest single gainer in the portfolio. But, uh, you know, Riot did really well today. Some other plays we had did really well today. And uh, I'm really, really excited for what's to come for many of our growth names on the watch list. So, again, if you guys do want to join Waves Capital, if you want to know how I'm trading on a daily basis, and if you want my daily newsletters, which uh, just yesterday, uh, you can see here, November 1st, just yesterday, and, uh, my second newsletter letter of the day, this is Price Targets, uh, just said that who knows, maybe they'll release some positive news in the meantime, that fundamental catalyst we needed. It wasn't necessarily C3 that released positive news, but it was the posi positive fundamental catalyst being Palantir's earnings, and that catalyzed the move up. If shorter term resistance is broken, then the technical traders and quants will capitalize. We need that break. Today, we got that break. And, uh, you know, let's talk about it. Okay, so a break of shorter term resistance. Okay, you can see here there are two lines of resistance. There's a very, very clear longer term descending channel with this top line here, the yellow line being the line of resistance on this descending channel, and this red line being the line of support, which we've really crawled over for the better part of the past couple of months now it's been a slow couple of months which again you guys makes those days like today those massive gains significantly more worth it okay hand power is rewarded during times when many are feeling fearful uh and you know the old saying the old cliche it's cliche for a reason because it's true be fearful when they're greedy and greedy when they're fearful okay and holding your ground in your positioning and you know just standing strong when many were just bouncing out of the markets does pay off and today was one of those days the entire market was really on fire and i really do think today could be a turning point for not only growth sectors and the the, the names we're covering today but for the markets overall okay and i may I, th I think i'll probably make a video like the tide is turning or something like that but today very very bullish uh what we just uh what we're seeing in the macro um but right now once again let's focus on ai sorry had to <laughs> had to go on that little tangent just because it really is important uh Again, the price of specific sectors is important. Like there will always be stocks that outperform each other. But when the the entire organism that is the markets, when the major indices, the S&P, Dow, NASDAQ, when the ARK Innovation ETF is, is doing well, when big tech is doing well, when earnings are strong, that is just good news. That That is further fuel to the fire 
when it comes to the growth we're seeing or hyper growth we're seeing in specific sectors. Okay, so just keep that in mind. Back to the technicals. C3 AI Inc. has broken above my line of short term resistance here. Okay, this orange line which once again is a shorter term descending channel within this larger descending channel. From here, we have, let's go to the 15 minutes just so we can see this closer. Beautiful move up today. You can see that we broke above it and then came back down perfectly retested broken longer term resistance as do support. TA 101, now that that test, that retest of broken resistance is out of the way, I think it's I think it's clear skies for, for C3 AI Inc. Um, honestly, until we reach the top line of resistance on this longer term ascending channel once a de descending channel i'm sorry again that's been in play since back in june okay so i do think that we have a pretty clear shot here to uh the line of resistance on this descending channel uh, i do think we can see that in the next two weeks 27 percent in the span of two weeks uh the line i have here is november 17th some of you may know why that's the date i've chosen if not you gotta, you gotta join the portfolio but November 17th is my date. I think that we can easily climb another 27 to 30% by that date. And if C3 manages to break above this line of resistance on this descending channel, then things could get very, very exciting. If that is to happen from there, my next target is going to be the line of broken shorter term support. This is a very clean, uh, like very clean organic ascending channel that was in play. You can see here from July 6th to August 1st, so almost a month. It was a pretty meaningful channel at the time once we broke below that. That's when really the sell-off started. Um, but as I just said, broken support becomes new resistance. It's, I can almost guarantee, I don't know when it's gonna happen. It's, it's always a matter of when, not if in my mind. Once C3 starts taking off again, because I do believe it will, I think this will almost 100% come into play as new resistance. So uh, let's say that things get really, really exciting into earnings in anticipation of earnings on December 7th, over a month away from now. Um, that's plenty of time for, for C3 to climb, especially considering what we, what we saw it do earlier in the year. That would result in like an 80, 83, 84% climb, which again, given what we've seen in C3 in the past, just what it's done is not out of the realm of possibility at all. Okay, so... Is a $50 C3 AI Inc. possible by their earnings report? Absolutely. If we do rally that high into earnings, I can assure you that I will 100% be taking profits on uh, on my position, okay? So again, if you wanna trade with me on a daily basis, if you wanna know when I'm taking profits, when I'm capitalizing on some other plays, what I'm doing with those profits, last plug, that's the first link in the description to join Waves Capital. Okay, let's close it out by taking a look at Palantir. I don't think we've ever looked at this on the channel. Um, I don't personally trade Palantir, but I know many of you do. And, uh, you know, I feel like it could be valuable. Once again, Palantir is viewed by many to be um, kind of the, 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 spear hit, the, the spearhead of the AI sector. As far as hyper growth is concerned, obviously NVIDIA is like the kingpin. But uh, when it comes to mid caps, smaller cap stocks, I mean, Palantir is a $38 billion market cap. So it's not small cap. But, you know, mid to semi-large cap, Palantir is is definitely the guy, okay? Or the gal, whatever. So, Palantir, super simple, looking very, very bullish today. Palantir has broken the downtrend that it's been in since uh, August 1st. So, you can see here, touch point here, uh, a very, very clear line of resistance. Multiple candle wicks creating the line of resistance on this downtrend. Uh, could call it definitely like a descending channel, uh, a descending triangle uh, pattern that uh, has been broken and closed above today. So again, a break is one thing, a daily closure above a, a, a line of resistance is significant is another thing. Uh, and on top of that, I didn't mention this with C3, but volume is looking amazing. That's what you wanna see. The macro is positive and uh, really it's difficult to, it's difficult to not be technically bullish on pretty much everything that's on my watch list right now. Okay, so. Um, Looking good. Again, Palantir from here, I do think, is in terms of just kind of historical levels that have acted as a resistance in the past, I do think that this region here, you can see this prior low that has yet to be retested. Maybe there's that one candle wick right there that kind of retested it, but not really. I would say that just as far as a range goes, as far as a range is concerned, because because Palantir just, again, just jumped 20%. So uh, there is room for, not, not quite as much room for growth as C3, but still definitely room for growth. I do think that Palantir... Um, in the short term can rally again and uh, 
just if I was trading the stock personally, my profit taking range would be from about 22 to 24 bucks. Again, just kind of these, these historical levels of support and resistance. Okay. So that's Palantir. You guys, I'm like, I'm pumped for what's ahead of us. Um, again, just the market's reaction the day after or, or the price action we saw today in the wake of, of yesterday's fed decision, super bullish November, historically the, the most bullish month for the markets. And, um, I'm just pumped to ride with you guys. So, uh, Waves Capital, I appreciate you. And, uh, you know, let me know in the comments down below. Are you excited for the November waves ahead? I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you in the comments downstairs. Until next time, always remember, take action, make waves. Peace.